What's up guys? It's your love friends and we're back with another video. I'm with my boy Clinton and we just saw the movie Ready or Not. It's raining outside so we're drenched and the movie's about crazy in-laws. In-laws playing hide and go seek to death. It's a very twisted version of Ready or, or yeah, no, of Hide and Go Seek. How you used to play it, this is completely different. And you give your opinion about the movie first? You want me to give my opinion about the movie first? Uh, you can go ahead and give yours. This movie, I didn't see, I think I saw the first trailer when it first came out. That's it. I didn't know what else about this movie. I came in blind. I had no expectations. I really enjoyed this movie. This movie was funny. Uh, I like the action. I like the acting. I like the characters too. I was, yeah, really nice. I like the main character too. The main character, she was real nice, and it was an interesting plot. I like the interesting plot too. They took a kids hide and go seek thing and made it into a whole other, like nothing's innocent now. It was rated R. We had to show uh, yeah, our uh, it was, to get it. It was rated R. I didn't even know it was rated R. It was it's it's R. It's an R movie. It makes you want to clinch up sometimes. There like, are, oh my god. Oh my god. There are some moments in there. Yeah, and the movie is a lot of funny too. I'm like, it's not it's not a comedy, but it's a lot of funny moments in the movie as well. Yeah, a lot of funny moments to just break like the, I guess monotony. I mean, it doesn't really it doesn't get boring at any point, but it's just so it's not the same thing going. Yeah, like all the characters, they all uh, like there's no bad character in this movie. All of them are entertaining. Even like the side characters, like the uh, butler guy, he was entertaining too. Like everyone was just. Entertaining. They had their like own distinctive characteristic as well. It wasn't like, uh, here's that person, here's that person. Like they all had their own type of stuff. So I really enjoyed that too. And the father, I really enjoyed the father, the mother, the brother, the uh, husband, everyone. They all was good. And my opinions on it is, I think it was a great movie. I looked at the su synopsis of it or the summary of it when I first chose the movie from the list you led gave me. And that's all I knew about it. I didn't know who the at, who the actors were, who the actresses were. I didn't know anything other than that. And I loved it. I think that was a very good horror movie. Horror movie. It does it does the I guess slasher thriller genre really well. Yeah, because instead of most slasher ones, there's one killer and it's a bunch of people getting killed. It's one person. <laughs> And a bunch of killers. <laughs> yeah, and and how in most slashers, like the main character can be an idiot. This one, she was uh, actually no, no, she she's smart. She, she was like, actually, she was actually pretty like smart. Stuff you're about to you're about to yell like, oh my god, this character need does do that does it right there. Oh, and it, you don't need my help. You're okay. Yeah. You're smart. <laughs> there was never really a point in that movie, except maybe a handful of times. But that was because of my privilege as the viewer to see it like that. But. She made a lot of smart decisions. Like if she, like she, she didn't, she didn't, it, it, she didn't get away with most. She didn't live through just sheer luck and the killer being stupider than her. No, she actually outwitted everyone else. It was actually very well done, and the characters, like he said, were all good. If you do, you there were maybe like one. There was never really a character that I hated. Because they all had their own motivations for everything they did. They're all, I think, in my personal opinion, I think they were all really, really well written. Yeah, they was really well written. Yeah, this this movie gonna be like a sleeper hit. One of those movies people missed out on, like uh, don't even know it's out. Then they gonna see it on TV one day and they're like, whoa, this movie good. Yeah, it's one of those uh, FX movies that's in FX. I really like the end too. The ending took a whole oh, yeah. unexpected turn. You're like, whoa. Uh, uh, okay. It's like, where's, <laughs> okay. You don't know where you don't know where the ending's gonna go, but it's not what you think. The furry is not what you think. <laughs> but yeah, I really recommend you to go see this movie if you like different types of horror. If you if you like uh, horror slasher thrillers with a actually smart protagonist and really well written characters, that like all the characters well written, not just the protagonist, you'll love this. Yeah, this movie's up there, especially for the, like a movie I didn't even know. Like, I'm really glad I saw this because I probably would have not saw it. That would been it. I'm really glad. So, yeah, ready or not, really, check it out. Really good. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.